All right, disclaimer for this video, y'all are gonna see me shirtless. Um, it is the only way I can show you guys what I wanna show you without getting anything messed up. Uh, this video is going to be sort of a sequel to all of the beard care videos or beard care tips I've given since I started with this channel. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prop my phone up a little bit. I'm gonna find the best angle for it. Um, and I'm gonna kind of talk you guys through what it is I do with my beard. Now I've already washed it, you know, lather, rinse, repeat, combed it out in the shower. And obviously you guys weren't gonna be able to see that part because, you know, but uh, what I wanna do now is I wanna show you how I run through um, putting in the actual products and the blow drying and the combing and the brushing and all that. So um, I've also already, I blow dried it up and then I blow dried it down. So it's got its base shape now I just needed to put in the products that will hold it into shape and soften it in the process. Um, some people would do this wearing a shirt, but I don't want to get anything on my shirt. And because it's such a long, luscious beard, it would end up getting on my shirts and that would just, it would be bad. So bear with me here. Prop you guys up. All right, first up, like I said, I've already done the uh, first initial blow drying. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take this um, OGX brand Argan Oil. Uh, it's Argan Oil of Morocco, weightless healing dry oil. Um, they have a penetrating one. There's one that you can rub on your hands and put in. I like the spray because then I can just put up my beard and spray it. And then I spray this. And then um, when I spray this, uh, you're going to see how it gets all shiny. And then I'm gonna kind of comb it through and then I'm gonna use the um, lubrication of the oil to put in the Beard Balm, which is the Viking Revolution Beard Balm. Now this is a different scent than I had gotten before. This is um, mango butter, argan oil mango butter. So it smells a lot better to me. So let me just go ahead and go through this process. And you guys are going to get to see how it kind of comes together. Let me move my phone over here. I'm just trying to find a good angle. I don't really have a mount in my bathroom or anything that works. Uh, all right. I just need something a little tall. So we're going to use a nail file and a comb. All right, that'll work. All right. Now, I'm going to be looking in the mirror for this because I don't want to spray myself in the eye, obviously. But, and yes, I can see through my beard. And for a thick beard like this, or thick hair, if you're using my beard care tips for hair, you're going to want to be liberal. You're going to want to make sure you get a lot in there. If you did the bottle that, you know, you poured it on your hands to put it in there, um, you get more, but you don't really want to get deep down in there. You just want to get the uh, outer layer so that the beard balm has something to slip in with. And I apologize for how that sounds, but that's how it goes. So now I'm going to take this comb that I got. It's better than... Now I have this one that I got from a pack of 12 from the dollar store. Uh, and as you see, it's thin plastic, really close together bristles. Um, this is a better version and it's got these shorter bristles. So it kind of works better. It's like stiffer, so it keeps things straightened. I do have my wood comb over here that I'll use at the end. But um, for the initial spraying, I'm going to use this comb just to, you know, swipe it through. So we're just going to give us a few combs in each region here. And you'll notice it'll start to sort of tighten up a little bit. That's because I already dried it. But if you tried to do this with the water still in it from the shower, uh, it would have absolutely no effect because the water from the shower would just carry it right out. Got a little bit on my ear there, but that's okay. I always end up wiping some off. Anyways. All right. So then we've got, we've done the argan oil. Now I'm going to take a little bit of vitamin E oil just to keep it healthy. There's gonna be three different kinds of oil going in here, 
but I promise you it won't actually come out that oily once the beard balm is in there and I am going to blow dry it. Um, I just try to get different uh, oils in there for different purposes. The uh, argan oil will keep it soft. The vitamin E oil will keep it healthy. And then the old bottle of Viking Revolution beard oil and conditioner uh, that you guys have seen will just act as sort of like a little extra protection. We're not going to use much because it's already got a lot in there. Like I said, this is just to get the beard balm in there. Just going to kind of wipe it down. And then I'm going to wash my hands. Because frankly, I don't want to get this on my blow dryer. For anyone who is watching this video, if you guys know of any apps, like camera apps, where I can pause while recording, let me know in the comments. Um, that's why my videos are continuous like this, because I don't have a way to pause and pick it up again like I do on my camcorder, but my camcorder, the quality is just not great. So, uh, I did find an app for piecing videos together, but in the process of doing this, it would be too hard to try and start a video and then end it and start another one. So, uh, until I find that, uh, my videos are going to be continuous like this, but, uh, you know, I haven't really been doing it that long, so we'll get the hang of it together. I always appreciate any constructive criticisms or points in the right direction. All right, so hands are clean. Then we go to the beard balm. I'm gonna have to wash my hands again, but I want my hands clean for the beard balm. And I'll tell you what, this mango butter smells amazing. Um, I don't know if you guys are into chapstick or lip gloss or anything like that. To me, the only thing I can think of that this smells like is Burt's Bees. And I don't use it because I don't like things on my lips like that, but it does smell amazing. I have I have tried it once. All right, get that in there. And as you guys can see, it's already holding it in shape. Uh, the blow drying and the combing will just be to get the excess oil out and make sure every hair is in the right place. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands again. Now I'm using just regular hand soap and I'm also using this um, oil-free acne wash. It breaks down the oil that's on my hands so that when I grab the blow dryer, I'm not all sticky. That's what she said. And just for fun, I think at the end of this video, I might also show you guys how I do my hair. Um, I mean, it probably seems self-explanatory being a mohawk and all, but I do do it a specific way to get the shape that I use or wear it in. So, but that will be, I will do a separate video for that and then it will just tag in at the end of this video, like the last video. Um, I have to check my notifications, but if you guys did comment on the last video, the one where I said it was two parts put together, when I was putting together the bed frame, um, if you haven't yet uh, and you liked it, let me know because it was kind of difficult to do at first, but I was proud of myself for doing it. So if it came out well, please let me know. All right. So um, at this point, I am going to be blow drying. So if you want to like mute it or just turn down your sound for a minute, now's the time. And I'm going to start with the same comb I showed you guys before.
gonna switch to the thin plastic comb. Now, at this point, it's pretty much done. There's a little bit more oil than I planned on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take a few sheets of paper towel, kind of squeeze some of it out. And then I'm gonna go over it with the Viking Revolution, Revolution wood comb that came with the uh, items I ordered the first time. And then I'm going to use one of my wood-handled boar bristle brushes to just finish it out and you guys will get to see it'll look shiny and smooth and uh, it won't be as soft as I would like because between you and me honestly I don't keep up with it as much as I should anymore but it'll look nice it'll feel nice and it'll definitely smell nice there's always that little bit between the sideburns and the ears but that's also good for your skin so that's okay We're gonna go the thin bristles of the comb, thin teeth, I should say. down here so you guys can see the finished product there now as you can see it's still a little bit shiny it's still a little bit oily but it's a thick beard so it's going to take a while for it to go all the way in what's important to remember is that when you're combing you want to take whichever comb you're using and go flat against your skin and straight down and when you're blow drying you want to make sure you're keeping your face away and straight down so that the sides go straight down and then you'll have to do the middle and you'll have to do the sides again, but eventually it'll all fall into place. And when you're doing the brushing, same thing, straight, smooth strokes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, share it, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thoughts, comments, concerns, uh, tips, whatnot, leave it all in the comments. As always, thank you guys for watching. All right, I promised you guys in the last video I was gonna do this, so I'm gonna do a real quick video. I'm gonna show you guys how I get the faux hawk 
with the Viking Revolution pomade. This stuff also smells really good, uh, but most gels and pomades smell pretty good, depending on what's in them. So you just take a big chunk like this. Now my hands are a little dry. I'm going to get it on here uh, before I get my hands a little wet. My hair is somewhat still damp, but I let it dry naturally uh, because if I try and blow dry it into the faux hawk shape before I put the gel in it, um, it just doesn't work as well. So my hands are full of gel, pomade, get a little water, mix it around there. And then we're just going to go straight back. All right now, I can still feel the dampness, so this is going to take a sec, but it's pretty much just you want to make sure that the gel is in there enough to hold, but not enough to glue it into place because it's going to take some molding. Now, I can't do this in the camera. I need to do this in the mirror, but you guys are gonna see the process anyways, if I do this right. And I don't want a tight little hawk. I kind of want it to just, you know, come together in the middle. And I may have had a little too much, so I need to try and loosen it up. So I'm gonna put a little water on my hands. And you won't get this right every time. I mean, I envy the people that do. I'm just not one of them. There are times when I've had to wash it out and start over. I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to take a uh, couple sheets of paper towel and sort of get some of it out. And like I said, I'm not trying to go for like a strict point. I just want it to come together in the middle so it's obvious what I'm going for. Now I'm sticking it to a point here, but then I'm going to pull it back at the end, uh, sometimes that end here in the back holds water, so you gotta kinda... The problem is you need the liquid, the moisture, to get the gel in, but if your hair is too wet, then it won't stay. So you gotta find the balance. Okay, so we're just gonna kinda pull it apart a little bit. Let's put a little more gel. Just gonna boom, 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 boom. And you just kind of push back and forth, pull it open a little bit. And you know, if you want a strict point, you can have a strict point. I don't necessarily like a strict point. I like to just have some sort of sort of loose, you know, obviously that's what I was trying to do, kind of look. Sometimes it just wants to be difficult. My phone's on 20%. It keeps wanting to tell me. I'm like, I know, but I want to do this video. Just let me. All right. And normally I wouldn't be, uh, I mean, you guys wouldn't know, but normally I wouldn't be doing this this late at night. But if you're following me on here for me to live me or TikTok, I will be going live uh, soon. So I'm just trying to get somewhat presentable for that. And there will always be a few standing up, and that's okay. Uh, for me, my main concern is, is it does it look mohawky, and do my bangs stick up the way I want them to? That's really all that matters to me. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's some like where it's uh, the gel has obviously gotten in. So what I do is I just take any sort of like bristle brush. Uh, if I can find the one I want to use to show you guys knew where it had gone. There it is. Just to take this bristle, bru bristle brush and sort of pull the gel out. And I pulled a little out on that side, but I still got gel on my hands. So we just kind of push that back into place. And I always like to do this in the front and then sort of like pull it around because I don't want it to fall down. Cause I hate that. That's an OCD thing. And I always do like a little bit of a point in the back. This works a lot better when your hair is short, like mine was when I got it cut on Friday, last Friday. My hair grows fast though. So, oh shit. Um, glad you guys didn't see that. That was that would have been embarrassing. So I'm just gonna. I'm stepping over here with the white wall behind me, cause then I can see what I got going on. All right, you know what? We're just gonna leave that for now. 
let it be. <laughs> I apologize for the cursing. Um, my pants fell down. So, <laughs> glad the phone was propped up. So I'm just going to rinse off my hands now. And then I'm gonna use the blow dryer for a minute just to uh, put a few pieces of hair where I want them. And then it'll be good. So, once I dry off my hands, I'm gonna show you guys what I got going here. And then if you like it, leave it down in the comments. This video should be pieced together at the end of the last video. If for any reason it's not, then just leave comments at the end of the bottom of this video. All right, so. That's the finished product, barring what I'm gonna do with the blow dryer. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video. Thanks for watching.